study an Gabriela Research PhD student at the University of Parma. Hi, I'm Kajwa. I'm a PhD student at the Department of Physics here at the University of Parma. Hi everyone, I'm Luis Diego Bonavena and I'm a PhD student at the University of Padova. Hi everyone, I am Andrea Tononi from the University of Padova. Hi all, I'm Marco and I've been a PhD student in Padova from 2013 to 2016. Hello, my name is William Torvo Alinia. I'm current postdoctoral researcher at the Maxwell Institute for Physics. Hello, my name is Lisa Benato and I'm currently a postdoc in Hamburg in Germany. Folks, my name is Franco, Simonetto Franco, and I got my PhD here in Padua in 1989. Nowadays, I'm a professor at the school and I am the coordinator of the PhD school here in physics. It's my pleasure to invite you to come and join our school. You will live an experience of living in a very nice town following world-class lectures and taking part in world-class research. Our groups have contributed to Nobel Prize winning discoveries like violation, Higgs discovery in the real physics and last but not least gravitational waves. So come and join Padova at the center of one of the most beautiful regions in the world and in addition, you will learn how there's a safe with no name, a cafe with no doors, and a meadow with no grass. I'm an experimental physicist and my PhD project focuses on the detection of gravitational waves in the Virgo group of Padova. There, I have found an international and vibrant environment I collaborate with many scientists involved in a large variety of research fields, from basic physics to material science. In my workplace, which is at the INFN Laboratories uh, in Legnaro, uh, I found a great and international environment, uh, really well organized and safe, which helps me to be able to work at my full potential. During my PhD, in the first year, we had many lectures to attend, and it is something that's not offered everywhere during a PhD. I also enjoy the fact that we were being given the possibility to attend many international summer schools. The research environment in Padova is nice and it is very lively. And also, since I work with the CMS experiment at CERN, I had one unique possibility. As a member of Padova University, I was also an associate member of the INFN, that is the Italian Institute of Nuclear Physics. And together with that, there was a project that I was able to participate to in 2017, and I had the chance to spend one year at CERN. This experience has been extremely valuable to me. I learned a lot during my year at CERN, also about the experiment, and I also had the chance to meet a lot of colleagues from the international community. I moved from Colombia to Italy. I was very, ma very much uh, glad to have all the interaction with the scientists at the, at the group of particle physics. In fact, the several interactions that I have with the various people, either internal and outside the university, made me grow as a scientist. And it, and it is what I really would like to stress about this group and why people should apply for a fellowship at the University of Padua. We don't need supercomputers to perform calculations. What we need is clever ideas. It doesn't matter how big is the computer, it will take hours, but if I have a clever idea, it will take seconds. And it really makes the difference. I was able, with the, with the guidance of my supervisor, to uh, publish uh, very, uh, very nice research and very important papers. And I feel that uh, my supervisor uh, has uh, guided me to um, essentially follow my interests. I'm from India and I'm doing my PhD in statistical physics. University of Padua has a very rich heritage and is one of the oldest surviving universities in the world. My PhD was about neutrino physics and I'm now a postdoc at the University of Liverpool working in two liquid argon based experiments, DUNE and SBND. I strongly encourage you to apply to a position in Padova for a number of reasons. 
conference department is very lively and it has a large offer of topics. The university is quite big and it offers a number of possibilities to meet other students even outside the academic context. I myself was a member of one of the university choirs and I had the chance to perform in many beautiful venues all over Italy, including the magical city of Venice. The city is uh, very nice, not too big, not too small. The city is a very nice city and is very easy to travel in. All you need is a bike and the entire city is at your fingertips to explore anytime you want. The city is filled with youth, being a university city, and these students ensure a vibrant and lively atmosphere. Now obviously due to Covid, these are difficult times, but as soon as this difficult period ends, your social life is going to increase exponentially. Despite being in right in the middle of a global pandemic, I was able to move from a country almost halfway across the world. This was only possible because of the support of the staff of the department and the university. If you arrive here, these staff will provide you excellent support throughout your PhD journey. No matter what trouble you may find yourself in, there is always somebody to help you out. If you are thinking of applying for a PhD in physics, I think the University of Padua should be one of the top choices on your list. See you here.